Hey guys, it's Gina with Why Fiction Freaks, and I wanted to do a separate thing. I know I've mentioned this in a few videos, so if you don't want to watch this and you've already heard me say it, then I'm cool with that. But um, I wanted to show you, you know, this is my Kindle, my baby. It's so pretty. Um, it's the Kindle keyboard with the speakers. And when you turn it on, you slip this little button down there and it'll turn on. And this will be the first thing I talk about. See that right there? That is an audiobook that's on my Kindle, which is so freaking sweet. That is Nightshade. It's got the title up there, and then there's the picture of the book, and then there's the description, and then see the dark the dark part down there, that's what I've listened to. So I'm about 50% into it. So it keeps getting darker. It tells you um, over here, this is how long I've listened. And up here, it tells you how long it is. So you know kind of where you're at. So that's really cool. But I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of it right now because um, it's so sweet. It is the true audio. I know that this thing does text to speech on some books but it's it's like a computer voice this is actually the real real audio and i will show all you have to do it's already set on play there all i'm going to do is hit this little button here so i'm going to hit it and you listen two would you like to go hunting with me after school i'm going to turn it for the he speakers closer one corner of his mouth curving up hunting there's a deer herd that's getting too large on our side of the mountain my muscles twitched eagerly at the invitation. I'm going to hit the button again, and that stops it. Is that not the coolest thing ever? I have been so excited about this. Um, if you have a Kindle, and you have to have the Kindle keyboard with the speakers, then you can go on audible.com, which... Um, I'm guessing, I guess Amazon owns it, I don't know, but um, you get on audible.com, you um, can sign up for a free account, you can look at all their audios, you can sample every single one of them, see what the voice sounds like, see if you like it, it does about, it's a good sample, it's about four or five minutes usually, and um, if you want, you can just buy it, just that one. Or, I think they're pretty reasonably priced, or you can actually have um, a monthly fee, which is what I do, because I think it ends up being less hassle and cheaper. But um, right now you can sign up for three months, and it's for those three months, it's $7.95 per month. Most audios are like $14 something, some are cheaper, so you're getting a real deal. And you can cancel it then, or after that on the fourth month, it's going to go up to $14.95. And a lot of the audios too are like $23.95 and $30, like the major books. So it, it's a deal. But anywho, you can go on. All you have to do, it connects with your Amazon account. So all you have to do is say you want to buy the audiobook. That's what I did with this one with Nightshade. I sampled it and really liked the voices, which Angie, my sister, had told me about it too and has been raving about it. She's reading, she's listening to the book too and loving it. So you just say send it to my Kindle. After you purchase it, send it to your Kindle. And it will have you do, you've got to log in and do your password for Amazon account. And once you're on Wi-Fi, you have to be on Wi-Fi to get it to transfer from audible.com to your system, but it pops right on just like when you're buying a book on your Kindle. It is awesome. So um, I have listened to Night Circus on this by doing that, and I, and I have a review up of that, and then I've, I'm listening to Nightshade. So, and when you do the monthly thing, you it gives you a credit for an audio doesn't matter how much it is it gives you credit for an audio every month and so I've gotten Night Circus and Night or yeah Night Circus and Nightshade that's funny the next book I need to do a night something too but <laughs> the Iron Knight ha that'd be funny but um anywho uh so when my credits do again it will just it's gonna pop up and it's actually kind of cool but it because it's like 
I think, I don't know if it said congratulations or something, but it was like kind of a big to do, like, oh, you got a credit that you can, you know, you could get another audiobook. So it was actually kind of cool. But, um, so I encourage you guys to do that. It's awesome. I just, you just hook your headphones, any headphones up. I stick it back down on my purse in the car and I listen. So it's really cool. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, uh, you guys about is if you go, I'm going to go back home here and I made that playlist for my ears only because I thought that was kind of cool because you name them. Well, if you go down, you see the next playlist is library. So you click on that and I have size 12 is not fat by Meg Cabot and insatiable by Meg Cabot. So you go to Insatiable, and I'll just show you. If you hit your menu button, because I like to see the covers, you go down. You can go to Table of Contents. You can go to the beginning, the end. You can go to a certain page. You can go to a certain location. You can go to the place that you uh, read furthest to. But I'm going to click on the cover. So I just clicked again, and it, there's the cover. So that's really cool. And even though it's black and white, it's awesome, but when I get my Kindle Fire, I'll be able to do color. I can read that one at night because it's backlit, and then I read this and put it in my purse and read it at work and stuff. <laughs> I love this Kindle. But anywho, <laughs> um, also, I just wanted to tell you, this is the other feature. This is exciting news um, that I've just been using, and it's just so awesome. Um, you can loan books from your library. All you do is if you have a library card, and if you don't, you better go get one because having fun is hard without a library card, people. Come on. So um, what you do is you have to have a library card. You go onto your library's website. You look up the book. That's what I did. Looked up Insatiable by Meg Cabot, which this is her adult vampire series. So I haven't read it yet, but I'm excited about it. You pick on it that you want it. If it's not available, they only have so many ebooks, which I don't really understand that. I guess it's licensing. But say they have two of them and there's two loaned out, then you'll just be put on the list and then they'll let you know when it's there. If it's open and it's there, then you just say you want it and it will ask you in what format. You can put it on your PC, you can put it on your iPod. Um, I am having trouble. One of them, they didn't have ebook form. They only had audio book form, which you have to put on your iPod. I couldn't get it to open up with iTunes, and that's the only thing I use is iTunes. So I'm not sure about that yet. But for Kindle, it has to be an ebook. So you have to click on the one at your library that says ebook. Then when it asks you format, you just say your Kindle, and then you all you do is download it, send it to your Kindle. And when you're on Wi-Fi, it will download just like you've bought the book. And what happens is it loans it out just like if I walked into the library and got a book. It loans it out for two weeks and then it will not allow you to open it anymore. And then you can just delete this off your system. I think you have to delete it off your system. I'm not real sure because this is the first time I did this. But it's it's going to act like it's there, but it's not really going to be there. You can't read it anymore. Um, so that's, you know, it's just like the library. You have to read it in two books or <laughs> two weeks, but I was excited. I'm probably not going to get to these two books, but I just wanted to check it out and see if it is two books I want to read. So that's awesome. I just wanted to show you with the Kindle, you can not only buy books, but you can get them from the library. You can, and I just turned it off. That's another screensaver that come up. You can get them from the library. You can get them from audible.com, uh, listen to, you know, ebooks, audiobooks. So that's exciting news, and I love it. Um, so it makes my Kindle not only be an e reader, but it's also a great um, audiobook uh, listener because instead of fooling with pulling it into iTunes and putting it on your iPod, and then it mixes with your music sometimes, and it's a pain in the tootie, this way you've got all your books, whether they're um, to read or they're audible, which is awesome. So I, what I do, if I'm out somewhere and I, and I'm reading my book, I'm reading my book. If I want to all of a sudden, um, go to my audio that I'm listening to, cause I'm usually always reading a book and listening to one. 
So you really could do the same one, I guess. But if you if I wanted to listen, then I pop the headphones on there and do it. The only thing is, if you get the cheaper, like seventy nine dollar Kindle, it doesn't have speakers. So if if this is something that you want to do, if you want to do the ebooks and the Audible books, you have to get the Kindle with the speakers. So if you guys got any questions, message me because I love talking about books. I love talking about the Kindle and things that it does. So if you guys got any questions, give me a call. Or give me a call <laughs> online through the message system on YouTube and I will uh, answer any of your questions. So thanks for listening to me rattle on about how much I love my Kindle, guys. And happy reading. Bye.